How's it going everyone? Jesus here, aka Tyrant Dominus, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Anchor. Anchor is the one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. Honestly, Anchor is a very enjoyable platform to be on, listen on, and just a joy to be a part of this community. Anchor, come check us out. And welcome back to Reaction Cast. It's your host Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, and we're going to be talking about the movie Candyman, the 2021 release. So, Candyman, what to say about Candyman? So, the premise of Candyman, the origins of Candyman from the 1992 version, and somewhat of the sequels. I'm not a big fan of the sequels, but the original still like is reasonably like very intriguing. It's one of those early 90s films that kind of drove this lore amongst like uh, children back in the day, like Bloody Mary, where if you say some their names in the reflection, you would get scared, and it was a <laughs> chilling game to play. I myself uh, did Bloody Mary, never Candyman. Um, in my younger days, I never saw the uh, original Candyman because of kind of the mythos that was around Candyman and how terrifying it was. Uh, in my later years, I did end up watching it, and I do enjoy it. It is a very, very interesting horror film. Um, so having that as the pre-notion to kind of what I believe was kind of a a reboot of the Candyman or a modernization of it, uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. On top of that, it's been a while since <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen a good horror film. So this is kind of my thoughts going into the movie, uh, the, the 2021 uh, Candyman. What can I say about this version of Candyman? So right off the bat, it is a continuation of the original Candyman. Um, and for a quote horror film, it's not really a kind of suspense horror, it's more of a like a thrillers kind of a, not even a slasher either there is a lot of gore here and there um, for the and for the most part the plot itself is fairly fairly good um, note for some of the some of the kind of message they're kind of putting out with this story for the most part the entire film flowed really well I never was really at a loss of interest when watching the film it continued to like hold me engaged though sometimes it did kind of was forcing um, this uh, this message and for the most part a lot of films do a good job when it comes to presenting a concept or a message or a lesson or anything and uh, what they were trying to do with Candyman I I myself did not enjoy because for the one thing the missile of Candyman is this overpowering like being who wants to be known wants to become a legend uh, and kind of wreak havoc so this retelling of Candyman or yeah kind of this retelling kind of was like okay I'm interesting all right um, but I don't know I think it's the the way they were kind of pushing the, this, the message of the film was just a little too heavy in my opinion. Like I, I do like the, the message but there are points in the film where it's just like we get it. Like I just want to see this vengeful spirit like kill people that say his name five times. And that's kind of what I was hoping for and it just kind of just divulged into these other smaller like plots and stuff. Some plots, some points of the story just were in there and then never resolved or anything. Um, so yeah, it's it was, it's a very interesting film to say the least. I did enjoy it. It was fun, kind of like 
discussing it with uh, the, the my rest of my crew that I was watching it. Uh, funny enough, when we went to go see it, we were like at a quote private showing in a sense because we were the only four people in the cinema and we were kind of jokingly a little bit a little bit louder than normal there are some cringe moments in this film but it, i think this movie itself was fun to kind of have those moments it's like you're, you're with your friends and stuff and talk a little bit and kind of also retouch on some of the lore that is Candyman. um but yeah, no, it, the film was like, f for the most part, it was a, a very enjoyable film. Uh, it just, some of the stuff they did with the character of Candyman, his lore, which I didn't in, like, like what they did in a sense. It just, it's not what Candyman was. Just this, because there's, there's like this sense of like iconic like beings in horror that are like uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and Pinhead. Like Candyman was up there in these like this genre of like like creatures to be feared. And I was seeing that they were gonna do a a Candyman. It was like okay, just bringing modernizing him and bringing this like this being into uh, this day and age. Like all right, for the most part. <sighs> It, it did fine for that. Uh, the cast did a, for, for the material the cast was given, they did a really good job. I loved a lot of the acting. It felt real. Um, but there were some cringe moments, to say the least. So some of those porn casts were like, okay. Uh, but the, the main cast were fantastic. The soundtrack was very enjoyable. You it, the, the score for this film was like <laughs> really good. Um, you were like really pulled in with uh, audio cues and things like that. Uh, visually, like cinematically, this film was fantastic because the way they played with reflections and uh, things like that, it was like really good. You were always looking at the background to see where Candyman was or when they played with some of the, the CG with like things behind the mirror like that's what was great um and it just some of the the plot points like i said were kind of holding the film from that intense horror aspect of the film and if it wasn't supposed to be a horror film like i don't know Candyman is a horror icon in my opinion um so having him like not be that is really odd in my because I just wanted to see the Candyman out there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the film. Uh, because I'm going to be rating this one. Huh, that's a tough one. Like, visually was really good. The flow was really good. But it's some of the things they did with the character just didn't feel right. Hmm. I'm going to give this movie... I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. A 6. And you might be saying why when I gave it so so many other praises. Score, the cast. It's not a very, very, like, like if this belongs in a horror genre, it doesn't, it's not a good horror film. Um, it would have been interesting as a, like a documentary or something, or like if it was like presented as a horror documentary or something, uh, that would have been more intriguing. I, I think it would have been more... Uh, and look at that shit more into the the story of what Candyman was but yeah no it, it if this was this is a this was supposed this was supposed was like marketed as a horror film and it was not really that there there could have been so many more um uh, aspects of horror in there more suspense uh more slaughter more, just more of the Candyman like there there just could have been more so yeah, I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. It was a fine movie. I enjoyed it. Um, would I watch it again? Probably not. Um, but if it's on, on telly, I would. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Leave it in the comments on Instagram or message me on Twitter. Uh, yeah, so thanks again for listening. Until next time, see ya.